Paul. Your uh, daughter has been uh, shot. It's hard to bear, you know. Is, is this for real? It's like a dream. Nine on your side's Natasha Williams is live. And Natasha, those three children lost both of their parents today. Clyde, they did lose both of their parents today. And Candy Dunn's family says the hardest part is they may never understand why. Kevin Caudill says he knows things weren't perfect between his daughter Candy and her husband. I knew that there was uh, some problems going on. Uh, I felt that the, most of it was going to be worked out in the court system. But the court system where Candy and Brian Dunn were in the middle of a divorce never got to resolve the family issues because early Wednesday morning, police say Brian Dunn pulled a gun and shot Candy as she was visiting their children at their grandmother's Westchester home. I'm really just numb. She's only 32 years old. Beautiful girl, full life. I got Mother. three grandchildren. It's you know, they witnessed some of this. Uh, their minds are wrecked. I'm sure they're upset. Brian Dunn had custody of the kids and at one point had a restraining order against his estranged wife, saying she was not stable and shouldn't be around the kids. But her family says that's only part of the story. His part. He did have a controlling attitude, um, and. Uh, it's common with some some people, you know, they want to control you, and I believe that the kids may have been used as a pawn. For now, though, his thoughts, all of them, are about the loss of his daughter as he tries to make sense of it all. But he says he also knows he's not the only one hurting, not the only one who lost a child. I have really, really trying to work on the fairness of it, you know. I know that on his side there's a mother that's grieving also you know um, every tree does not bear the most perfect fruit now police here are investigating but with candy dunn's death and brian dunn's suicide the family is thinking that they possibly may never ever know what really happened to rip this family apart reporting live from westchester natasha williams nine on your side